Jerry, it was uh, 40,000 protesters descended on Seattle. It was uh, 1999 WTO riots that just took over the city for a number of days. I remember being there and... Um, it was a part of Seattle history. It really was. I mean, just the the the, the tear gassing and the riots and everything. It was just wild times, and they just, the whole city was closed down. It was just incredible. Let's flash forward a couple of months ago. I meet this guy Eric Castro. I'm in Sonoma doing this auction, and he said, "Are you John Curley?" This photographer said to me, "I said, yeah." He goes, "Oh my God." I have a photograph of you. I said, what? Yeah, I used to live in Seattle. Eric was a freelance, hadn't gotten the job yet, but decided I was going to get into the world of photography. So he thought, oh, I live in Seattle. I'll go down to the WTO riots and I'll take pictures. Well, he got tear gassed and a protester poured water in his eyes and he followed that guy. And then he's got a photograph of somebody throwing a giant garbage can through the window at Starbucks. But he happened to catch the, a photograph of me and he sent it to me when he's in Sonoma, and I saw him down there. He goes, I think you might like it. And, Jacob, I sent it to you. Why don't you describe for the listening audience what it is? Uh, it is a photo. There's a, a crowd of, of others in the background that are that are also holding signs, and then you're in the foreground holding a sign, uh, and in, in large blue letters it just says, free checking. That's right. That's right. And you are wearing cl clothing that is remarkably that would be, baggy. That would be appropriate for that year. <laughs> <laughs> Large, baggy, double wide, wide whale corduroys yeah. and like a oversized yeah. jacket. But that's pleated, what the kids were wearing. Pleated. Okay, 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 <laughs> Sherry, you need to throw that in there. So anyway, Eric says to me, I saw that photograph of you. I had that of you, because, and I didn't really know it was you, but I just thought it was the craziest photo. But isn't it weird that I, I don't even know this guy, but then we meet, you know, 20 years later or whatever it is. Um, so he sent it to me. The story behind it was that we were told that uh, King Fi was not going to broadcast Evening Magazine that day. So I ran downstairs to the carpentry office, the carpentry shop, and I said to Bob, the carpenter, hey, can you make me a sign? So he grew, he screwed that thing together, and then I wrote free checking on it because every, every sort of different cause was represented there, the WT, you know, free the whales and free Tibet and this and that. So I thought, okay, free, free checking. And then I made it a um, sort of a, uh, challenge for myself. Could I get on every single TV station that was live down there with my sign? So I got on Cairo, I got on Como, I got on Fox, and they would see me walk by, and the guy goes, well, it seems we have every single cause represented. Sir, could you come here and talk to us? I'm like, oh, yes, absolutely. I'd walk over with my sign. So what is your sign? I said, it's free checking. You know, they say it's free, but it's not really. You get in there. There's hidden fees. When my grandfather and grandmother would open an account, they'd give you a toaster, but that's not the case anymore. Free checking, free checking, free checking. I'd walk, I'd go, bang, that's Cairo. Then I did Como. I did Fox, and I'd see the guy from King there. I was like, oh, I'm going to get him. So it got same sort of, well, you know, Gene's just about every possible cause. And here's a gentleman that's very passionate about uh, free checking. That's right. You know, they uh, say it's free, but it's not. I go into my little spiel, and all of a sudden in his ear, they go, that's, they said, that's Curly. Get off the camera. Get off him. Get off him. Get off him. <laughs> I was going to ask oh, you if you got in trouble yeah. for appearing on these other stations. <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> They, they didn't, and they didn't, they, mention the, know. they didn't mention the corduroys were pleated either. <laughs> <laughs> I've but been trying then, to find the picture. Send it to me again. I can't find it. They're marching. Phone. So then they start marching. Everybody's marching, marching. There's all marching. And these plumbers from some union look over. Guys like, what's the deal with that sign? I was like, free checking. Are you making fun of us? I was like, no, no, I'm not making fun of you. I'm, I'm passionate about checking. The guys like, no, you're not. You're making fun of us. You know, they, they, I can tell they're getting kind of surly. You know, I'll give you one of these. I'll give you a Mary Jane run across the old schnog wow. in there. How would you like a knuckle <laughs> shit? It was just yeah, the 90s, shade. but they're talking like they're from yeah, the shade. 1920s. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll show you who's boss, I'll show you who's free. I'll give you one, fool. I'll take you outside. Yeah. How do you like about that? <laughs> I heard you am outside. Yeah. Yeah, well, How about we'll a knuckle a... sandwich? Yeah, yeah, Shay. <laughs> Shay. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hang on. Are those, are those pleated <laughs> white real corduroys from Eddie Bauer? <laughs> Wow, it's a big jacket you got on. I know. The jacket's the other thing. <laughs> Fully de Mary There's just so much denim in that jacket. Yeah. It's so roomy, she. <laughs> 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 Needs to be taken uh, in a bit, she. Uh, all right, she. Yeah. <laughs>
I had a clothing allowance from Eddie Bauer. I ran out of, I just would go in there and spend $700 every month. I needed clothes. I didn't care. Whatever, she. All right. Anyway, Eric Castor <laughs> took that photo. Oh, well, that was the good old days.